Um, that's going live. Huh? That's going live. Hi everybody, um, we're here, um, I'm about to do a dental on Murphy. Hi Murphy. Murphy is a um, seven and a half year old Cocker Spaniel and he has some pretty ordinary teeth and you can see the dental disease. I've just started here um, and you can see those, these teeth and you can actually see here where the gum is being really nastily inflamed. Um, and you can actually see a fication. And one of the things that we can't do when we're in a consult is do what your dentist can actually do for yourselves and go in and probe these teeth. Um, sorry, uh, and probe these teeth. And you can see here the quite significant amount of recession. And you can see how easily the gum lifts off. So this dog has actual dental disease and we're gonna take an X-ray of this tooth in a minute just to see how significant um, the disease is and whether it can be fixed. Back here, you can see all of that gingivitis. Um, and part of the problem with, with dentals is that, you know, it's sort of, with people, we brush twice a day, or at least we should. And if you're like people like my father-in-law, you brush after every meal, and that can be up to three or four, 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 four times a day I've seen him brush. Um, and it's um, something that obviously is beneficial um, the more you brush, and we're not doing that to our pets. So something that um, I want to sort of get across to you guys is that there's a lot of advertising going on about now about dental disease. And um, what, um, what we do, hold on, just give me a second here. We'll just turn that around. Um, with, with dental dental disease, um, so you can, we'll just Whoopsies. go for it. Uh, there you go. There so, we go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so my wonderful nurse Lauren is here. So I'm going to start doing it. I'm going to continue to talk. So currently at the moment, um, it's dental month in Australia. And dental month means that um, we're, we're encouraging dental prophylaxis and dental treatment. And in talking to people about the risks that dental disease has um, on um, our pets. And dental disease, gingivitis, bacteria, which is the plaque sitting right next to our blood vessels, can actually cause um, heart disease, kidney disease. It can cause septicemia. I recently had a dog that developed an abscess uh, internally from a dental scar and polyps bacteria that was left next to the mouth. And so, um, I want to, as I wrote there on the hashtag, it's not just dental month. Every day is dental month. Every week is dental month. We do a comprehensive dental program here at LHQ where we scale and polish every day. We have our normal dental treatment, we have a dental prophylaxis program, uh, where we go in and we keep this clean with every six months, um, where we'll go in and do an ultrasonic scale, um, and then obviously a polish. And so what I'm actually gonna show you in about another 30 seconds or so is what I've been doing here in the mouth and how clean these teeth actually are. If you can brush a dog's teeth or a cat's teeth, obviously that's going to be ideal. And the aim of, of, of brushing is to constantly be removing the plaque. Unfortunately, only about two or three percent of our clients will actually be able to do that. Um, and so what it comes down to is using a whole lot of other products. Um, and what I encourage you, if you are worried about your pet's uh, dental hygiene, is to consider coming in and chatting to one of the best here to discuss what we can do other than just an anaesthetic to try and keep teeth clean. So I'm going to grab this back now and I'm going to show you what I've just been working on. And you can see here now the difference in these teeth. So I haven't done that last tooth, so you can see the plaque. You can see this teeth, tooth here is starting to be clean. There's still just a little bit of plaque and you can see what calculus actually looks like. So that is, ah, where's it gone? There, it's on my thumb. Those chips there, right, are 100% bacteria. And they are sitting next to, as you can see, these bleeding gums. Hopefully that's of interest to you guys. Um, 
Till next time, uh, stay logged in to the Jeffersodes. Bye now.